Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about angle gauges. So basically, this angle gauges it will be having a wide applications in the field of metrology. So let us start with the introductory part for an angle gauges. So just you can see here that will be the different size and shape of the angle gauges which will be resting onto the this wooden block and these all standard gauges it will be available with the certifications of the calibrations so all the gauges it will be calibrated with the some standard methodology or some standard organizations so in that case this is the different shape of the gauges which will be also available and according to my requirements i would like to use it so basics about the angle gauges it will be made with the hardened steel material which will be having a characteristics as a corrosion resistance resistance to wear as well as it will be having a long life and basically it will be seasonal carefully to ensure the performance with the angular accuracy that will be my requirement in terms of metrology and as well as that will be measuring faces are lapped and well highly polished with the high degree of the accuracy flatness like a slip gauges so you can considering as a one of the standards gauges that will be used for measuring and different size of the angles after this just you can see how it will be used into the workshop for measuring so here that will be my angle gauge number 1 and this is my angle gauge number 2 so if both are like this it will be in the case of the less than so if this gauge number 1 it will be having a theta angle and one of the gauge that will be resting onto the first gauge so that angle gauge it will be having a phi angle so if you add it this theta angle and phi angle with resting one gauge onto the over so final if you make an additions of these two gauges so it will be having a theta plus five gauges in another way just you can see one of the having alpha and one having a beta so it will be make an additions alpha plus beta so same kind of principles you will applying for addition of the different size of the angle gauges now second examples just you can see if you want to subtract according to your requirements so one gauge like alpha angle it will be resting on to the surface plate and another gauge it will be into the reverse directions so this beta it will be the top surface of this alpha gauge but it will be resting on to the another side so at this kind of arrangement of both the gauges of the alpha angle and beta angles so it will be having a subtraction like alpha minus beta so similar just you can say here that will be having a theta angles but the another angle which will be resting on to the first one that will be greater than so in that case it will be having a theta minus phi angle so with the help of these two standard gauges according to your requirements you will like to do additions as well as the subtractions for different size of the angle measurements so like linear gauge blocks the angle gauge blocks can be also rung together to build up the desired angle so that we already discussing with the slip gauges with the ringing effect if you ring the one slip gauge onto the another one so that will be having additions but in that case of the angular gauges it will be having additions as well as the subtraction with the different set of the conditions so in additions they can also be the subtracted that we already discussing from a smaller angle as the difference of the two larger angles as shown into figure the plus and minus ends of the each blocks are marked 
so just you will keep in your mind for the angular gauges after this just you can see the blocks provided with the different ranges from 0 degree to 90 degree 59 minutes and 59 seconds in the steps of 1 seconds so such kind of availability of the different range of the angle gauges so basically 13 piece of the angle gauge blocks have been following so degree blocks like 0, 1 degree 3 degree 9 degree 27 degree and 41 degree standards are available into the 13 piece of the angular gauges and for minute blocks 1 minute is available 3 minute 9 minute and 27 minutes and for the second blocks 3 seconds 6 seconds 18 seconds and 30 seconds so as we discussing the addition and subtraction of the different gauges you will easily achieving the desired number of the angles so let us start here that will be the one of the examples the tie insert is there and here just you can see this is the one of the faces and this is my another faces and it will be having an alpha angle so just you can see if you are addition of these all gauges so here that will be the 27 degree 9 degree 1 degree then 9 minutes and 18 seconds so just you can see 20 degree 9 degree and 1 degree so i think it will be total 37 degree because these kind of setups it will be used for the addition of the angular gauges so 27 plus 9 plus 1 so it will be around 37 degree and here that will be the 9 minute is available so 9 minute and at the topmost it will be the 18 seconds gauges is being used as a rung effect so final angle it will be around 37 degree 9 minute and 18 seconds now just you can see the another examples for the subtractions so it will look like this so at the first position it will be the 27 degree here it will be the 9 minute and at the top it will be having a 30 seconds so just you can see the 27 degree that will be the first one so from this 27 degree you will minusing 9 minute and 30 seconds so here the 27 minus 9 minute and 30 seconds so you will find 27 degree 51 minute and 30 second by the subtraction from 27 degree so you will easily easily adjusting such kind of arrangement and you will find the different angles with the different objects after this example the angle gauge blocks are commonly made of oil hardening tool steel materials and which will be having a rockwell hardness it will be c65 or you can say chrome steels with the 85 percentage of the nickel binder so which will be having a highly corrosion resistance as well as the wear resistance so that will be good for the precise measurement they are available into two grades namely laboratory master grades and tool room grades so according to your utilizations you will select the different angular gauges so the characteristics of the two grades are there just you can see the deviations from mark angles and that will be for the laboratory master grades or you can say made with the steel or chrome carbide so it will be having a plus or minus 0 0.25 seconds and for tool room grades it will be plus or minus one seconds and it will be made with the steels then flatless across the weed it will be having a 0 0.00005 mm and for tool room grade it will be 0 0.0001 mm then for flatness along the land it will be having the same value as we 
discussing for the flatness across the width 0.00005 mm and for tool room grade it will be 0.00015 and parallelisms of the sides it will be having uh, accuracy around 0.00025 mm and which will be similar for the tool room grade for parallelisms minimum surface finish root mean square value it will be around for the laboratory master grades 0.00015 mm and for the tool room grade it will be having a uh, in range so 0.00015 to 0.00002 mm so both are having a highly grade and highly accurate are there for laboratory master grade as well as the tool room grade so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching